This is Fox 9 Mornings. Time now is 7.05. The Spring Parade of Homes is going on this weekend with over 450 homes across the metro to visit. Todd Walker starts us off in Edina. A sure sign of spring is, of course, the Parade of Homes Tour. And today's going to be a great day to go out and check out some of these wonderful homes. There's over 400 homes on the tour. And i got to tell you, right now, we are behind the Miracle Mile in Edina, checking out one of the houses. This one that we're looking at right now is $2.3 million. The home tour is completely free, but there are four homes on the tour that uh, are kind of in the upper level, that are the artesian homes that are $5.00 to uh, check it out, but that goes for a great cause. And I'm here with Wendy from the Builders Association representing the Parade of Homes. Good morning, Wendy. Good morning, Todd. Nice right. to see you. Nice to see you as well. So, Wendy, uh, tell me a little bit about this year's tour. So, you've been doing this for over 30 years. The tour has been going on for over 60 years. So, you're the pro. You're the expert. Give me some ideas of some of the different things that we are seeing and what has changed throughout the years. Well, starting out with what's changed, Homes, home design has really expanded as to becoming much more personal for individual buyers. So you will find homes that have loft spaces for kids. In another home, that might be a loft space that becomes an office for the family. So it's really meeting the way people live today much better than it has before. And really open floor plans. I mean, having you know checked out some of these homes for, on this year's tour, I mean, it really is an open style living. Open style is there, although I've been reading lately that that's starting to condense back. So people are looking for smaller rooms. Um, but even in the open spaces, you'll find definitions between some of the big spaces. All right, so uh, this year's tour. Once again, you're the pro. You've been doing this for 30 years. You've checked out, I'm sure, many of these homes. Uh, what are some of the highlights of this year's tour? Well, we have, of course, tons of homes all around the Twin Cities. We have some in the inner city, like you'll see here in Edina and Minneapolis. We have homes down in Faribault and in Wisconsin. And we have a whole lot of homes, of course, in the areas where you see the growing communities in Blaine and Woodbury. Okay, now you had said that it's five dollars to get into four of the different homes and the five dollars goes to a great cause, correct? It does. We have a foundation called the Batsy Foundation. We build and remodel homes for families in need. We, our big project last year was a brand new home for a veteran who had been hurt in uh, Afghanistan. So we built a new home that was perfect for his family where he can get around in a wheelchair and deal with his life all right. Well, thanks for joining us, Wendy. This has been great. All right, guys, stay with us all morning long because we're going to show you only two of the homes, of course, of the 400 homes on the tour. And when we come back, we're going to be inside this home right here. $2.3 million, six bedrooms, five bathrooms. I've been through it. It is absolutely amazing. Back to you. Wow, that is a lot of house. All right, thank you, Todd. All right, time now is 736. If you're in the market for that perfect dream house or if you just want to take a walk through someone else's, you've got a chance today. <laughs> yes, you do, with over 450 homes across the metro to check out. The Spring Parade of Homes is the place to be. Todd Walker takes a tour of one of the houses in Edina. One of the biggest trends we're seeing this year on the Parade of Homes Tour is the open style living. As you can see right here, we are standing in a very open space. We have the kitchen, we have the family room, the dining room, all in one big area. And I'm here with Amanda, who is with TC Builders, and she is the designer of this home. And uh, you've done an amazing, amazing Thank job. You. All right, so first of all, I'm sure what everybody's wondering, a uh, house that is 6,300 square feet, how much is this, Helen? This one is 2.3 million. Amanda, tell us a little bit about what we're looking at in this area. Um, well, as you can see, you mentioned it before, the openness. The kitchen is open to both the great room and the formal dining room, which is great function for entertaining. If you entertain a lot, this is the perfect layout. Um, and then we also connect to a butler's pantry that has a second dishwasher and oven even. So you can have mom set up in there, prepping while you have other cooking going on in the main kitchen and then still interact with your guests. Okay, and I noticed that the office is basically right off of the kitchen. Yep. Kind of an interesting placement. It is, but sometimes we're working within a really small space. Footprint, footprint. yeah, sure. Yeah, so we have to just use every space that we can. And it is kind of nice because if mom was needing to, you know, finish some email, right. kids are no, I, I like that. Snack, but I like that. It works. Okay, one of the other features, Amanda, that you really brought to life in here is, of course, the use of wallpaper and 
that, that fireplace, I walked over there, I thought for sure it was wallpaper, but that's actually tile. It is. Um, that was a super fun feature that I got to do here. Um, trying to think outside the box. You know, there's yeah. a lot of builders in our market. Um, how do we do creative things? And the wallpaper trend is huge, but you obviously cannot put that on a fireplace because it's flammable. Right. So um, I just ended up finding this mosaic tile that worked beautifully, wow. looks like paper. Yeah, it's spectacular. And the mud room is huge. <laughs> you want to explain that to me a little bit? Is it just, oh, that's I mean, that's a huge <laughs> area. And, uh, for once again, a footprint to use for you to kick off your shoes. Yeah. Um, again, really popular with are the families we build for. If you've got two, four kids, you know, it's Minnesota winter. Right. Everyone's got piles of gear sure. and sports stuff. And so it's becoming a big uh, feature for people. They want to have the storage, have it tucked away out of... Right. Light and have it be functional. Well, Amanda, a wonderful job once again. Hey guys, we are not done here. Of course, when we're talking 6,300 square feet, this is just a little bit of a glimpse of what you're going to see when you check out this house. So when we come back, we're going to show you the upper level, which is where the bedrooms are. And there is some use of color in there that's really going to pop your eyes out, guys. All right, sending it back to you. Oh, that sounds nice. Pop a color with all that white in the kitchen. Yeah, pretty kitchen. Very pretty. I'll, can, can we just like up and transport that kitchen and put it in my house. It's nice to dream. Right, time now is 9.04. The Spring Parade of Homes is going on this weekend with hundreds of homes across the metro to visit. Todd Walker takes us on a tour of One in a Dyna. One of the more dramatic features I found in this house is this amazing staircase. It winds all the way up from the lower level to the very upstairs where the bedrooms are. And it's so wide that it really makes it feel more grand. They've also really had a, a great sense of style in this home and a use of light. Every single room has natural lighting that comes into it. Once again, we're back out here at the Parade of Homes and I am with Amanda from Twin City Home Builders. Good TC Home Builders. Good morning, Amanda. Hello. All right, so we had a chance to check out the lower level, but you know, going through this house, I wanted to pick out some of my favorite features. And upstairs here in this living area, it's just really interesting because it almost feels like a, uh, a second home on the upper level. It does. Um, we have a great loft area here, could be geared for kind of the kid hangout spot. Um, this particular family does have three kids. So we definitely kept that in mind sure. for them when we were designing the layout. Um, and, and I love the master suite. That that <laughs> dressing area in that tub. It's a movie star. Wow. So <laughs> what, what kind of what went into the design of that area? What are some of the special features? Luxury, right? I mean, everyone wants the spa feel right now in their master. Um, and then goes over into the closet dressing area. So we had bling light fixture is very bright again wallpaper because it's huge yeah. right now just trying to give it calm but yet glam feel all right now this young they have one daughter one daughter okay this daughter <laughs> is uh is going to be it, obviously uh I, what should i say uh have a luxury lifestyle herself wow that the pop of color that you did in there amazing it is every girl's dream i think to have yeah. this bedroom over here um I had some people even ask, is that the master or yeah. is it a daughter's room? Um, the pink wallpaper is stunning. Um, it was a bold choice, obviously, to yeah. do it, but I think it came together amazing. Well, it's, a, and it's such a large room, and she has her own dressing room. <laughs> she does. Um, she can't wait to have her friends over, you know, and show it off. And oh, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. So when you worked with the when you worked with the uh, buyers or the owners of this home, uh, what were some of their special requests? Because obviously, uh, you really did some interesting and unusual things here. Um, pretty, some of the more common requests, you know, laundry on the main floor, um, all the bedrooms for their them and their children on one level. Um, and again, just functionality of space. You know, we're in a dyno, we have a little lot. So how do we maximize everything? So there's lots of built-in storage um, compartments, built-in dressers even, just trying to maximize the use of our space. Well, Amanda, you did an amazing job. And once again, you've got to check out this house. It is one of over 400 on the Parade of Homes tour. And uh, this one is pretty spectacular. And once again, it is in Edina, right behind the Miracle Mile in a really great neighborhood. All right, guys, back to you. But don't leave us because we're going to show you some other great homes when we come back.